Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Now there was a new DLC released this week, the Land Rover. We have four new kinds of Land Rover, so I thought it might be fun to come back to Car Mechanic Simulator, head off to the junkyard, see if we can find a completely busted up Land Rover, and then rebuild it and restore it to its pristine form. So with that being said, let's head off to the junkyard and see if we have any luck. Well. It's a hot, sunny, dusty day here at the junkyard like it is every day at Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. We're going to get busy looking for a Land Rover. Now, as a heads up, if you're trying this at home, I tried last night with the DLC first installed and I probably came to the junkyard 40 times. Didn't see a Land Rover. I did maybe probably 80 car auctions, the salvage auctions where you get the ones that are all beat up. Still no or something, but nope, that's not a Land Rover. No Land Rovers, despite the fact that pictures of the Land Rovers are in the official DLC release pages on Steam. So I thought, well, there's got to be one here. Finally, I said, nah, it's just not working. So I went into the game settings and I changed the settings in the cars so that cars show up anywhere in the game rather than just at their designated places. Now that makes it a little bit easier to make some money, but I'm not too worried about money anymore. I just want kind of a greater variety of cars showing up here and stuff. So we'll kind of hunt around. It's probably going to take several trips. We'll get back together um, as we see if we can find something. But trip number one strikes out. We've done a whole loop of the junkyard here. No luck. So we'll go back to the garage, come back again. We will not give up. Finally, after about, I probably, I'm going to guess it's probably our eighth or ninth trip. We have found one. This is the 2015 Land Rover Defender 90 and it is pretty beat up. I mean, the body's not bad. It's missing the hood here. Engine looks just in really nasty shape. I mean, if we examine that, yeah, this is pretty bad. 20%, 16%, stuff like that. So this is, uh, it's in rough shape here. Um, doors missing, paints all, bodies all chipped up and stuff like that. But the wheels are on, the rims are on, the suspension might be actually fairly good. But again, we're going to be replacing everything and do a total tear down anyway. So let's buy this and get it back to our garage here. First, I want to take a picture, then we'll get it. We're going to buy it, get it back to the garage and we'll start tearing it apart. All right. They want 9000 for this, an estimated value of 11000 So that's already a pretty good deal here. Let's get this. We're going to send it to our garage and off we go. We'll head right back. We don't need any parts. Let's dig in. So we, let's start out by giving this a car wash here. This will clean it right up. We'll see what color, looks like it's this green color, right? I mean, that's that's gotta be the color. I'm not sure that's the color we're gonna leave it at. It doesn't look, I mean, it, it's pretty beat up, isn't it? Let's do the interior detailing. Clean up the insides a little bit. We'll get the welding going now. Let's send it over to our first car lifter. And get the welder on this. Move that right over. How much they want for welding 1400 so the body must be in fairly bad shape they should clean it up kind of nice here yeah not bad huh i mean this is yeah this will work i think we're gonna we'll uh should be a fun little project here i'm curious to see now apparently there's four new engines with this too so we'll get the engine out and everything like that let's get her up here and start ripping apart the suspension and wheels and everything like that first another level We'll do the underside, then we'll take the engine out, then we'll start rebuilding the engine here. But let's start digging in now. Part mount. Nope, I want to take things off here. Let's just do that. All right. So we will get busy here. First things first, get these rusty bolts off. And we'll check in in a couple minutes here after we start ripping the suspension apart here. This is kind of cool. I don't believe I've seen these spring bolts on the front of a car. So that's kind of an interesting. I've seen them on the back on older cars, but not on something from 2015 and not on the front. So it's kind of interesting. It's got two on each side. So it looks like these are going to be pretty kind of a, a, a new type of uh, tear down here too, which is fun. Get these bushings out. So we're just making progress. Pretty straightforward so far. No problems. Got to get that control, the spring plate off. Now we should get this arm off. Yep. Looks like we're going to be able to fix a pretty good amount of stuff, but not a ton of it here. But we'll keep driving on. So the nice thing about this one is that there weren't very many parts missing, at least on this front suspension suspension here. So I suspect we'll be able to fix a good amount of this stuff, and that could be helpful. So there we go. Front suspension's all torn down. Uh, let's go do the back now. So we'll kick out of this. Let's get the back going. I think I'm just going to tear everything apart 
rebuild the engine, tear the engine out, tear the suspension out, fix all the suspension parts, tear the engine out, rebuild the engine, then rebuild the suspension, then do the body and all the extra stuff here. So we'll get going here on the back part. So far, so good. It's making pretty good time. Now that we're at level 21, our unscrewing speed here and our mounting of part speed is considerably faster. So things are going fast, reasonably fast here. Looks like we'll be able to fix a lot of this stuff though. This is good. I'm curious to see how much we're gonna make on this and how much a fully restored one is worth too. So the, the rear suspension has these leaf bolts on, these leaf springs on it as well, the U-bolts. Kind of cool. Surprised they're on a 2015 car, but maybe they're still used, I guess. Feels like they, they, they're, I've only seen them on older cars up until now, but we're making good progress. Got these little shock absorber caps on the back. Leaf springs off. Almost got the back part all reassembled here. The rear shock absorber comes off. Now I think we're gonna get the drive axle off. Good, suspension is all done. Excellent, let's get the fuel tank out. That should be good. Now let's come up here. Um, we need to get the gearbox off so we can get the engine off. Let's rip that off where we're up in here too. The gearbox should come right off. Rusty bolt down here. There we go. Might as well get this stuff out while we're here. Pressure plates, lots of screws on this one. Then I think once we get these off, we should be able to get the engine out. Oop, I gotta drain the oil first, probably. That'd be a good thing to do. Now there is an achievement you can get for spilling oil. I feel like maybe we should just do that. I'm not, oh, actually maybe there's no oil in it because the whole, the oil cap is gone. So there are pieces missing here from this engine. This engine is in rough shape, but Okay, let's go uh, see if we can get the engine out here. So we'll drop this down, but the suspension's all ripped apart. So far, so good. Making progress. All righty, engine's gone. Let's go put it on the rack here. Break it down. That one's a different one we're working on. This is the one that's in the, uh, yeah, this is the one from the Land Rover. So let's put that one in. All right, so we're gonna start tearing apart the engine here. This should be fun. Now, I think this is a new engine that comes with the Land Rover. Maybe one of four. So I don't think I've done one of these before. Anyway, we'll start pulling this apart here too. Wow, a lot of bolts on this. Whoa. It's a camshaft head, I think it's called. It's got a lot of bolts on this thing. This might be the single most number of bolts I've seen on a part in Car Mechanic Simulator so far. That one's rusty. Yeah, the engine's in pretty rough shape here, as could be expected. A lot of parts on it, but some missing and in rough shape for the largest part. So we'll have some stuff to fix here. I think this might be a profitable car though, given how much uh, how many parts we've got and the fact that a lot of the stuff looks repairable. All right, so we got the uh, engine head off. We're just pulling out the pistons now. And I think we're pretty much ready to take this one all down. We've got the engine block pretty much left. We can get the crankshaft out and the engine block comes off. Nice, engine's completely broken down. Let's get busy fixing stuff now. So we don't have any body parts yet because we've been taking that off. Let's get over here. We are gonna have a lot of parts to repair. Uh, this, oh, this this first one's tricky here. Let's see if we can nail it right there. Got it, nice. You bolt Anyway, we'll keep cranking through these here. Oh good, I bet you can fix. There's a lot of stuff we're gonna be able to fix. I think we're gonna be here for a while. A lot of parts were above you know 15%, which is that fixable range. And with most of the suspension there, we've got a lot of work to do here. All right, it's time to start to put, uh, put stuff back together. I went 100% on the engine parts. We gotta buy this one. This is uh, bad, the engine block. This is probably gonna be pretty pricey though. Let's jump in here and get going, buying the parts that we need. Gotta clear this off. 1800 for that, yeah, that's gonna be expensive, but what can you do? There we go. All right, so the engine block's on. We'll start putting stuff in here. But yeah, I was able to fix uh, pretty much every, I missed one of them, but it didn't really matter because um, it didn't completely break it. So with that in mind, we're able to get most the, everything fixed that we had. So a lot of parts to go on. Now it's just this kind of get in the rhythm of putting stuff back together here. So haven't done this for a while. So excited to do this. One of those crankshift bearing cap. Let's buy that. All right, get one of these, put it on. 
anyway, we'll get going here and uh, check in as we are along the way and making progress with the engine. All right, so we got the engine block together with all the pistons in and the caps and stuff like that on. We got the oil pan on. So now we're just putting the engine head on and getting some of these other pieces to go with it. Oops, don't have that one. So making good progress, having fun. It's nice, to, it's fun to build one of these. The thing with all the screws, this is cool. <laughs> Camshaft head. So interesting, this, uh, the Land Rover here has glow plugs instead of spark plugs. I have no idea what those are. And I, this is the first car I've seen that's had them. So this is kind of cool. I don't know what the difference is between a grow plug and a spark plug, but in they go. Just getting the timing assembly cover, a timing chain assembly cover now, covered up now. We got that all in place. So yeah, it's a fun little engine. It's not very complicated. I've, a lot of the engines have had it much more complicated. I mean, it's a four cylinder, so it goes a little bit faster and it does look a little bit smaller. So let's get these. Oops, don't want that one. Nope, nope, nope. Give up. Just going to buy some of these idle roller Bs. I think we have A's. Yeah, make a good time. All right, radiator fan is on. I think we've got all the ignition wires on and the glow plugs capped up and yeah, timing belts in. I think this might be full engine here. Let's just rotate it around, see if we're missing anything. Yep, looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it from this side. Thing looks pretty good. I think we might be ready. Let's get it off here and get it back in the car. Install. That's the one we just finished, the i4 DT224. Yep, that's the creature. Let's go put it in. All right, let's get the engine mount out of here. There we go, the engine crane. And the engine is in place, perfect, nice. Uh, let's start to work now on the suspension, I think. I'm gonna just pull some of these parts out since we're here, because they're gonna have to come off anyway. So anyway, yeah, let's go underneath and uh, get the suspension rebuilt here. All right, we're gonna start putting things in. We're good. Front drive axle, start with that. Good, we're able to fix that. Steering rack, I think we're gonna have to buy, so we'll buy that. We'll start putting these things together. All right, so we're kind of cranking along here, making good progress with the front suspension. Still gotta to get to work, finish up these shock absorbers, so let's go do that now and get the brakes back on. But the front suspension is almost taken care of. It was actually a rather straightforward vehicle, not very complicated at all. Still didn't quite get these done, so. Finish those up. Let's get the brakes care and take care, taken care of. Whoops, ran into the wall. All right, one more brake to do. Yep, there we go. All righty, so the front suspension is all together. We got the shock absorbers built and in. We're all set to put the tires on. We get to that point. Everything looks pretty good in here and I don't think anything is missing. Let's head to the back of the car. Gonna start cranking away on this. Now, interestingly enough, yeah, rear shock absorber V. Okay, so we gotta build some of those. Uh, let's get this going here though. Lots of pieces we're able to rescue and salvage. So we are doing pretty well in terms of probably potential profit on this one. So we are just putting on the last touches here to the rear suspension. These leaf bolts gotta go on. We are, I mean, now, now, it's, now that we're in level 21 here, this sure is a lot faster, I think. That is everything to do with the rear suspension. The rear shock absorbers are on there, just one piece. Leaf bolts are on, got the bushings in. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I think now we can, let's get this muffler in. We probably don't have one of these. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we'll work on the underbody a little bit while we're under here now. So keep on driving along. Middle muffler, 405 credits. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's put that in. We're gonna need to get this piece here, rear muffler, the other part, yep. It's a lot of just like buying these individual pieces here, but the shopping list, it's pretty fast. 390 credits, no worries, put that on. Wow, that's a crooked piece. We will need a fuel tank, I'm sure, and a fuel filter. Let's get that, and it goes. Nice, we need a filter up there. Yep, fuel pump, sorry. Get that fuel pump. Once you get in a rhythm with these, these are really fun. It's just kind of solving one problem after the other and things just moves along. So looks like the muffler is taken care of to here, but we need this. Nope, don't have that one. Front exhaust section, so we'll pull that up. 
So kind of looking forward a little bit on the channel too, on for this one here anyway, um, the growth of the company and the money and stuff like that, and there's not a ton of stuff that gets too unique, I think, with this. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of dip in and out of this series and try different things. And I really like the uh, the full restorations here. We need this transfer case. Do we have that? Yep, looking pretty good. So these things are just kind of fun. You know, it takes about an hour, maybe a little bit more to do. And now that we're kind of faster at it, it goes pretty quickly here because we can just screw parts on together. Is that in and on? Oh, it just clips on. Okay. I'm sure that doesn't just clip on in real life. Drive shaft. Yep, that goes on. This is usually eight volts. Yep. But one thing that I want to do, and I started it, and then I realized I want to do it for the channel, is to do a junkyard challenge. So the junkyard challenge is going to work like this. There we go. That's all taken care of. So we have got front suspension, rear suspension, engine, everything hooked up to the drive shaft. All these pieces are together. Fuel tank. I think I just spot out. No, that's the air base. We're going to need that. That's from the filter bay. I think we're pretty good on the underside of the car here. Things are looking pretty sharp. So let's um, let's work on the tires now. Come out of here. Kick out a little bit. Got to check to see what we need for tires. Factory rim type, rim defenders. So I think we can, can we, I forget, can we fix those? Whoops, going the wrong way. Let's pull them off here first and just see what's going on. I, rim defenders, where are they? Right here. And then we got to get the measurements and stuff like that. Anyway, we're going to start working on these. Get these separated a little bit. I think you can't fix rims. Gosh, I feel like I should know this, but we'll find out soon enough. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can't fix a rim, right? Oh, you can. Nice. All right. So we'll get these off and fixed and repaired and then buy some tires and get this all taken care of. But yeah, to go back to the idea of rim defenders, all the same. Nice. What I want to do with the junkyard challenge, right, is to get a car at the junkyard. And the rules are very simple. The, I want to see if you can get a car completely destroyed at the junkyard and then get a functional car back by only using parts that you get from the junkyard, barns, or leftover parts from other customers that come in with their cars. Those are the three ways you can do it. And then how long would it take? Like how many trips would it take to the junkyard? How many customers and all kinds of stuff would it take to go from a totally messed up car to one that could actually start and then like actually complete the, the racetrack without like going off and like completely destroying itself. So that'll be a longer challenge, right? Because that's just gonna, that I started one just to see if it would work and I think it will. Um, and actually you can, if you can get a car that's got the same kind of parts in, sometimes these cars want to be uh, tuned up. So they get, they replace their regular parts with high functioning parts, in which case, we should be able to take the regular parts off a car like that. So things like spark plugs and things like that might still be able to, uh, to kind of work in terms of being able to fix them up and put them back in the car. So that's coming up, I think, at some point soon. I've also added a lot of modded cars in too, so we're gonna uh, do that. But let me just now kind of calculate what kind of, I'm gonna take a look here and see what type of tires we need. 265, 65 are, these are, I forget what kind they were. 265, 65 are 18s. Okay, so we need eight. The rims were all set on. I think we fixed all four rims. 265, just want to write that down. 65 ratio. All right, so we just got to see what they were here. Um, let's go over here and check it out over at the tire part. That will usually tell us here. Install rim defender, vintage tire B. No, it's off road tire. There it is. Off-road tire, 265, Yeah, okay, good. So let's go to the tire store and buy some tires. Get out of here, back, and tires and tires. Off-road tire it was, right? Where is it? LF. Oh, there it is. Off-road tire, just off-road tire, right? Not off-road tire B. That would just do off-road tire. Now we need four of these. They were all the same. Size were 18. Width was 265, and the profile was high, right? 65? 65, just want to make sure I got that. 65, 265, 18. We need four of them, 1,500 credits. Let's buy them. Okay, here we go. On you go, guys. Install. Rim defender, off-road tire. Good. So we'll uh, we'll get these tires together. We can get them on the car. Then we will take a look at some of the interior stuff. Then we got to work on the body, and we're going to have to paint it. So 
Still work to do. Alrighty, so we got our wheels all set here. Let's see if we can put these on. And then I think we are in pretty good shape here. Wow, these look a lot better than when they started. We did a good job. It's nice to rear all the rims because those are expensive. So, okay, let's kick out of that. So one tire on. All right, so we got all the tires on, and I think we've got everything, most everything. We probably have to come back underneath for something I forgot, I'm sure. But let's get this down. I think the suspension, engine, stuff, we're getting close to the end here. Shall we, uh, yeah, let's do the body. Okay, so we're going to just start stripping off stuff from the body here and then make this look nice and nice and clean. What we got here front license plate. Definitely get that. I did add a Japanese license plate mod pack, and I figure this Land Rover would be perfect for a Japanese license plate. So we'll get that going here. What's this? Cooling? Uh, that's Oh, it's not there. We don't have that. Okay. Let's keep going. Got to take the windshield out. Problem. What else to go? This? That here? That's the other side. Body. That's just the big body. What's this here? License plate. This is all just one hunk, huh? Okay. So not too many body parts here. That, we have that glass. Nope, I freaked the front, front right door off. Okay. I think we got all the body parts off now. All right, let's go fix them up. Okay, so we'll uh, keep going here, get things going and... Wow, not too much to fix on the body there. So let's put these back. Should we actually let's work on the inside of the car here. Just see if there's anything we want to add here while we have the body off. Uh, battery we'll need. Yep. Oops. Add that. What else? Can, ABS pump we'll need. We need a brake servo. We need a cooling right there. There's our fuse box up over there. Power steering reservoir. Just clicking on everything. Windshield wiper reserve. We need a radiator A. Air filter base type A. Yeah. So, okay. So let's go get these things and we'll put these all in. First, we'll buy them up. All righty. So we got most of these things bought. I'm sure I'll have to buy a couple more things. I have to buy the part that goes on. Brake servo is going in. Fuse box A we didn't have. That's going in. Coolant needs reservoir D. That goes in. ECU type A. That goes in. This is so fast to put this stuff in and in the game. And I'm sure it's probably about 10 hours worth of work in real life, right? All right. That goes in. We're going to need an ABS module. I know we do not have one of those. All right. We're getting closer. Air filters all together. Last clip goes on that. And what else do we need? We've got to fill those up eventually. Oh, the fuse box over here. Let's take care of that. So we're going to need to put all these in. Now, lately, I just kind of buying a bunch of these and just having them handy. We might run out, but that way I don't have to kind of figure out how many there are and just get them one at a time or get a bunch at a time. Just get a ton of these and just stick them all in so it's really fast like this. This is definitely the way to do this one. All right. We just need the fuse box cover. Nope, that's not there. It's going to be electronics. We'll get that. 60 credits. It's expensive for a piece of plastic. All right. That is in and we're looking pretty good here. Oh, looks like we need a starter. I bet we have one of those. Yep. All right. Let's get that bolted in. I think we are kick out of this. I think we're ready to put the body back together. It looks like we got most of the stuff in here all set to go. Let's take a quick look here. Car status, how we doing? So the frame is 100%, the parts are 100%, the body is 1% because we took everything off and the interior is 39%. Let's, while we're here, let's get rid of these seats. Oops, we're sitting in it. That's good. Good to know we can sit in it. Let's get rid of these seats and stuff like that because we're going to replace all that stuff. Nothing but the best. And these are pretty tattered and worn, especially that past the driver's side seat was 5%. So we'll get, uh, yeah, I think that's it here. Let's escape out of that. We want to put these in. Here we go. Interior add. It's been a little while since I did this. A little slow. That one goes in. Front left seat goes in. Steering wheel goes in. And I think now if we check, let's go to normal mode. If we check the car status, yeah, so the parts are 100% in the lower right, the frame's 100%, the interior is 100%. Now we just need to start putting the body together. Do we have a right front fender? We do. Okay, we fixed that, that goes on. I think there was no hood, right? Yep, so let's add that to the list. We're gonna have to buy a right headlight, I know. 
We were able to, I don't think we were able to fix the, oh, is it 1%? Yeah, this front bumper's a mess. I think we fixed this, right? Yep, okay, so we fixed the front right fender. We're gonna need to buy a left headlight. I think there was no left door, right? Yep, so we'll get that on the shopping list. We are, oops, we're gonna need to buy a windshield. Let's get the body window. Oh, wow, there's body windows up here too. That's kind of cool. Up high, nice. We're gonna need that, rear window A. All right, I think we got most of our pieces. Let's start putting this stuff on. This goes so fast, it, it is really fun. We'll need a license plate. I think we're gonna need a couple of other pieces. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy the license plate in a moment. We need to buy the mirror for the right side, I'm sure. Yeah, because we don't have one of those. Windshield, did we get that? Yep, we got that. Front left door window, we didn't buy that. So let's add these things to the shopping list. Put the window in there. That window up top, window B. Let's get the rear bumper on. It's going pretty quick now. Get these lights on. We'll need rear license plates too. So let's add that. Get the trunk on. Oh, nice. It's starting to look like a car now. This is always the fun part. The I think this is the, the most visually appealing part here. We don't have a trunk window. You'd think that would come with the trunk. Didn't we just give you that? But apparently not. That's all in. That's all in. All right, gotta get these little pieces on. Trunk window. Alrighty. I think we just need the license plates. Let's go to the license plate store here. See what we can get for license plates. Whoops, we wanna close out of this. Uh, go back. See if we can find these Japanese license plates back. License plate shop. Oh, this looks cool. Nice. Let's go with uh, Aomori Custom. Sure. Uh, there's probably a lot of these, huh? Chiba. Mm, where do we want to go? Now we want to, um, there must be one Tokyo or Kyoto. There's a lot here, aren't there? Gunma, Hiroshima. Nope. Uh, Kobe. Nope, nope. Kyoto. There we go. Kyoto, white striped. We'll do that. Two of those. By part. Nice. Oh, this is going to be cool. Yep, on we go. Ah, this looks fitting. Most excellent. Where did the one go here? Oh, gotta add it. Yep, right there. Rear license plate. Kyoto goes on. Now, are we at 100% here? We are, 100% done. Perfect, let's send it over to the paint shop now. I mean, it's always the fun part here. Yeah, definitely think we can do something a little bit different with this. So let's paint the car here. I'm gonna play around with some colors. What about, ooh, nah, nope. Kinda like this chromish gray color on this. I mean, the Defender in front, that looks pretty cool, I think, huh? Normally, so yeah, that's one choice. I'm gonna play around a little bit more. So we get the chrome and the fourth one in here. After screwing around for a little bit, I kinda like this orange matte chameleon with the touch of the yellow in here. I think this looks pretty cool. Goes well with the red and white license plate a little bit too. So yeah, let's uh, let's paint this one here. A thousand credits, no worries. And let's take this out to the test track and see if we can go for a ride too. Oh, we gotta fill it up with fluids. I forgot about that. So let's get out of here. Let's gotta send this back. Gotta move it back to the first car lifter. No oil, it won't go anywhere, will it? So we'll get some fluids in here. Let's open up the hood and we need the brake fluids and everything. All right, so we've got all the fluids in here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. Let's get the car up, see if it starts up. Sit inside and start her up. Nice, I like the engine sound too. Good, we're good to go. Off we go to the test track. So when we go to the test track here, I want to go to actually the race track and drive around. It says wheels are not aligned. Aligned car may drive in an odd way, which is weird because I did align all the wheels. Gonna go through it back on the rack and redo that and see if that will fix the problem. Ah, oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. It's a wheel alignment. To align wheels, get rid of any deviations. Okay. So do we just do that? That's it. I didn't even know this was a part. I don't think I've had a job come in yet for this. This is cool. You learn every something every day. All right. So I think that's good, right? There we go, now we're ready to go. So our wheels are aligned too. Cool, so I'm gonna pull out the controller here and then we're gonna drive the car around the track here and see if uh, this Land Rover, see how it performs. Accelerate to start. All right, so here we are. This is the first time I've done this, by the way. Oh, looks like it's performing pretty well. 
I wonder if you can crash and, and burn here, but... Now, there is an achievement for getting under 1 minute and 50 seconds. I doubt we're going to do it with this here, but... So far, so good. Seems to be driving pretty well. It's kind of fun. Anyway, we'll go around here, see what we get for a time. So there we go, three laps. The fastest was a 2.23. I think we're going to stop there. So there we have it, everybody. We are done. Completely rebuilt the Land Rover here. And let's see how much it's worth for us. It is a... We could sell it for 98000 We paid 9000 for it. Profit of 89 but that doesn't include all we spent on parts and stuff like that. So, you know, I imagine... I think we started at 250000 350000 So, yeah, so... Wow, I guess, what, 220,000? So maybe 70,000 profit on that? 60,000? Something like that. That was fun, though. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll be back at some point soon for maybe do another one of these with a different type of Land Rover. Um, I also want to, I've got a Volkswagen Beetle mod installed for one of the old Beetles. I'd like to do a restoration of that. And at some point soon, too, I do want to start the uh, Junkyard Challenge to take a car from the junkyard and completely rebuild it without buying a single part. We can only use parts that we find in the junkyard and barns, and then also parts that we can scrap off of us to other customers that come in when we upgrade their cars and fix their own cars up. Anyway, if you enjoyed this again, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll see you in an upcoming episode. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Take care, bye.